for those of you who've been following me on the assemblage movie, I'm um, going to show you the third piece that I completed. This one was the 2D to 3D piece that involved using different uh, approach, which was using a black and white uh, color scheme instead of multiple colors. So this is how I did this. I started with something that had a frame built in, then I used this particular cardboard to make a cylinder shape. This is a Quaker Oats button. Again, I used the recycled materials, which are these here, with the wax caustic. The background does have encaustic wax pigmented, and what I did was work with the images and I tried to use the contrast colors to make the piece uh, pop as far as the three-dimensional aspect. So this is how it turned out. This is the piece um, which is completed. I used stencil to add these little pieces on the side. These are actually wax. And I added the silver tape again on the uh, frame piece to complete it. So this is the third piece of assemblage. And now I'm actually going to show you what I'm working on now, which is the fourth piece of the series. started out with uh, using these figures and I cut them out again but decided to use uh, I think I wanted to group this together as one instead of individual and this one here I separated it out as you can see there are a lot of glue joints on here I will take those off but this has been it's been glued um, put um, uh, with the boards on top and let them weigh down so that way the stuff can adhere. So the next step what I did was I have more of the figures that I'm going to place on top of here. tape on it now just to show you what it's going to look like because once I stand it up it, they're all going to fall. So this will be glued down as well. And I got this piece here. I added this corrugated cardboard on top of here so that way this piece will stick out a little further. Then I found this interesting piece of plastic, and when I put it on, it began to resemble something for me, I don't know, a boat or a ship or something. So I then put it on, and this will be glued with, I'm actually going to use some dowels here, put some dowels on the edges here. That will change it. That will give it some dimension over here. But I found these other items that I thought that was kind of crazy. This was actually plastic plates. I cut them up, made them into rings. These will go on here. And again, they may change. The color may change. I may dip them in the wax.
something like this, which if you can see now it looks more dimensional, uh, three-dimensional than uh, the 2D pieces that I was working on. Don't worry about that, and I think we're going to add this to it. This is a pulley, and I want to add some roping systems into here just to break that up a little bit from the cardboard images. So the next time you come back, you'll see this one completed, and we'll just keep going on to the next one to get more of an idea of what three-dimensional uh, work um, does have as you add more pieces in this dimension here instead of just laying them down flat.